All right, guys, I'm going to do a quick review on these uh, Diablo carbide tipped hole saw bits. All right, I've got a project I'm working on where I got to drill some pretty big holes. Um, so I bought these the other day, and I'm actually pretty impressed with how they've uh, been working. <clears throat> I got this at Home Depot, and uh, they're about 20. 18 20 bucks and the first hole that I needed to drill was inch and a half all right so I bought two of them thinking I would probably need two of them for the amount of uh, drilling I was needing to do what I needed to do is drill this is one inch thick steel plate I needed 20 holes drilled or 20 plates drilled and I am still on the first bit and I'm going to show it here. I've already done 18. There's the plugs. I've already drilled 18 of them. And uh, just a real, <clears throat> real quick uh, look at this, these teeth, if it'll focus, the camera will focus in here. Uh, I counted there's 12 on here. I don't think the camera is going to focus, but only about five have the, uh, the tip has actually come off. So they're actually drilling pretty well, um, and I was using my drill press, but I was having some problems with my belt slipping. So I started just using my uh, my Dewalt 20 volt, and it's actually working pretty well. Now, one quick thing: when I was at the store, you'll need this. It's called the uh, Diablo. Uh, this thing will not focus. Diablo Snap Lock Plus Mandrel required. That's what this is. Well, they didn't have this by itself. Uh, where you could just buy it by itself, but I did see the empty slot where it went and it was uh, 18 90 so basically 19 bucks However, they had some drill bits that included this for basically two dollars more So I just bought one I had bought a, a, a bit that I didn't the size I didn't need so I'll use that in the future so basically I got the piece that I needed and for an extra two bucks we got the bit so I'm going to set up the camera and it's going to get pretty loud because one thing that I'm doing is I'm, I'm running a fan to help cool off everything, um, keep the keep the tip uh, cool and also I'm, I'm, I'm lubricating it with some WD-40 to help, really that should, I'm, I shouldn't say lubricating it, you're keeping it cool with this stuff, you know, uh, either um, WD-40 works just as good, hell you can use water as long as you're, you're trying to just keep it cool. That's what the whole purpose of putting a, a cutting oil on there. But the fan works good. Uh, this is just a little uh, cheap fan from Harbor Freight. But also, the biggest tip that I'm going to give about using these things is when it starts cutting that groove, you want to keep the, um, if you don't have air blowing into it, to knock the, um, the um, shavings out. What happens is if you pull out and then try to go back in, it gets hung up, binding, and I think that's how I broke the teeth off when I was using my drill press before I realized I was like, oh, I need to put some air down in there. And you'll see on the camera, um, on the video, that it's, I'll hook up this, and this is actually leaking by a little bit on purpose. So when I hook that up, the air compression is going to kick on here, but I have it blowing like that. And so as I keep drilling the groove, um, it's blowing the uh, the shavings out and keeping everything clean. And if you don't do that, after you get about uh, three sixteenths deep, it it really becomes hard. You have to take it out and, and blow it out. So I just keep this going, and you can pretty much just go all the way through. And each hole is taken with this is probably taking me about five five minutes, maybe five six minutes. Of course, I'm stopping spraying some WD on there, letting it kind of cool a little bit. I spray some WD on these to kind of, you know, I'm just wanting to make, I try to keep this as cool as possible. So I'm going to set up the camera. Um, it plugs up real easy. Let me just take, you know, just that goes in here. All right. And then... Let's 
I would be getting a phone call. Yeah, the phone. So what happens then you just snap that in. Alright. Alright, so I'm gonna turn the fan on. And I, I recommend wearing some ear protection because it gets pretty loud. I forgot to mention that I highly recommend doing is drill a hole all the way through <clears throat> I used a quarter inch bit um, the little bit that comes on there it's a little bit bigger than uh, three qu um, a quarter but the first hole I did without doing that it took forever even on the drill press when I finally got the drill press working working fine but you'll see those grooves um, you can see the progress I made there. Can I get this thing to focus? So, if you don't have that air blowing, that groove gets clogged up with shavings really fast. The deeper you go, <clears throat> the more often you're going to have to pull it out and, and clean it out. So, if you just keep some air blowing on there, you could see all those shavings just flying out. And it makes it a lot faster but so that's my last plate I got to drill drill those holes real fast the pilot hole and that'll help you sink on through there but it just kind of helps you stay guided so I just drill it's um, just a little bit smaller hole than the the drill bit that's that, that comes with the tool so that's it guys I really like this um, these are working out great and I already did cut a hole Using the uh, the two inch, that's for another part I got to do out of these beams. So I've already cut that hole, and it worked really well. Of course, it was only three sixteenths inch thick stuff, so that should go pretty fast. But here's all my plugs. I mean, and the the the, the fact that that tool has survived, um, it's pretty impressive. So twenty bucks. Highly recommend the Diablo carbine tip. And it's made for wood and metal, and I can tell you right now that that thing would fly through some wood easy. And I'm sure it'd do fine on plastic as well. I mean, plastic would be no problem. So, hope this guy's helped you out. If you're looking to drill some uh, big holes through some steel or wood or plastic, 
uh, I highly recommend these. They're a little bit more expensive than the um, Milwaukee brand, but um, I can tell you I've had pretty good luck with the Diablo um, drill bits in the past. So hope you'll subscribe to the channel. I got some other videos I'm going to post, little tips and tricks on welding and fabrication and stuff, drilling and uh, mostly to do with metal and car repairs and things like that, custom projects. So thanks. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you guys later.